Today we're going to take a look at this amp right here. This is the Orange Crush 12. It's an all analog 12 watt amplifier with a 6 inch speaker. On the surface, that doesn't sound too impressive, but crazier things have been more impressive to us and uh, I feel like we should give it a fair shake and see what this thing can do. It clocks in at the princely sum of $109. So for that $109, is it worth your time and money? Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hey everybody, welcome to my Pink Room of Doom. As always, I hope you're doing well. My name is Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, the like button, all that good YouTube stuff. Make sure you check the description as well. I have a link to this on Amazon. It's a non-affiliate link, I'm not being paid for it. I did buy this with my own money, so I can say whatever I want about it, because as a consumer, I feel like that's fair. I also have links to my Teespring store where you can go pick up some merch, help support the channel in any other way besides just subscribing if you'd like to do that. So there you go. Check the links in the description. Let's talk about this some more, shall we? Orange amplifiers are pretty synonymous with a lot of metal bands, a lot of rock groups, just music in general. I think that they're a great brand. I've always loved Orange. I've not really owned a lot of Orange products in my life. I have tend to go to uh, the Black Star side of things, as most of you might know. But Orange are really, really nice amplifiers, specifically the Crush range. I've always been a fan of the Crush range. Typically when I go to music stores, I find myself either plugging into some type of Orange Crush or some type of Black Star, which is probably why I have such strong feelings for both brands. The Crush 12 is one that I don't think I've ever really explored much because typically it's like the 20 watt or the 35 RT, whatever that one's called. I think it's a 35 watt amp, but I digress. Orange amps are just great. So can a 12 watt amplifier with a six inch speaker stand up to the other amps that I've played before? Well, we're gonna find out here in just a second. I wanna point this out. This amp right here that I have sneakily hidden behind the Crush 12 is the Boss Katana Mini. Okay, I've done a video on this as well. You can see the size comparison here. This is a seven watt amplifier that runs for, I think about the same price, give or take a couple of dollars, as the Crush 12. This is an awesome little amp. I have a full video on this if you wanna go check that out. Give or take a few features, they're about the same, obviously given the size difference here. But for the same price, we already know that this thing's awesome. Does this thing stand? toe-to-toe -to -toe with this thing. Well, we're going to find out here. I'm going to stop talking about comparisons and just talk about the amplifier here. So again, the Orange Crush 12, you can see that it is your standard orange amplifier, beautiful orange casing. You could get it in black as well if you prefer that. You got the basket weave kind of front grill here as they're known for, orange logo and their little picture up there. Love that. Uh, you have a nice little secure handle up there. You can see it's pretty small. It's got a lot of weight to it, so it's, you know, not super duper heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight, so it feels quality, right? The outside feels quality too. It's got the little guards on the side, all that kind of fun stuff. Flipping over to the back really quick, not much going on here. You got your power switch there. That's where you plug in your uh, cable to plug it into the wall and all that kind of stuff. And then you got some information right there. Flipping it back over here. I'm going to get some shots of the top control panel here, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. So at the top, you have your headphone jack here first, so you can plug your headphones in for quiet practice. You have a volume knob, which I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Three band EQ on this thing, which is really, really cool. You don't see that a lot on some of these smaller combo amps. You usually just see like a bass and a treble, or you see just a tone knob. So to get a three band EQ is really, really nice. You get bass, middle, treble, obviously. They are very, very sensitive, which is really good because you can get a lot of different tones shaped out of it. I have owned this amp for probably about a week, so I've had a little bit of time to explore it. You have an overdrive knob and a gain knob. These are not the same knobs. If you turn that overdrive all the way down, you're going to go back into like clean territory. So you do get clean, but it's not like at the flip of a switch. You do have to turn the knob. So if you're not a fan of that, don't really know what to tell you about that, but you do have that and the gain. They work very, very well together in my experience anyway. And then obviously you have your input switch right here, which is where you plug your guitar into to get started playing. So on the surface, it's a pretty simple amplifier and that's kind of how I like things. I like things to be simple. You know, I don't like a bunch of switches and knobs and buttons that do this, that, and the other. I just like to plug it in, 
adjust my EQ, maybe hit a button to switch between channels, and that's really all I like to do. So those are the features of it. It's pretty well built construction wise, I think, so it's pretty solid. But can you use it to record anything? Can you mic it up, do whatever? Because it's only got a six inch Voice of the World speaker in it, which Voice of the World is like Orange's kind of custom built speaker thing. Well, we're going to mic it up here just to see if we can wrangle some good tones out of it. See what we can do with it. I'll give you some clean tones, dirty tones, all that individual. And then maybe if you're good, I'll throw it in a mix, which I know you guys are good. Again, make sure you subscribe. Let's go ahead, throw this in a mix, get you guys some sounds, and then we'll come back and talk conclusions.
So there you go, there are some sounds mic'd up with an SM57. Figured that's pretty blanket, pretty classic, right? I forgot to mention one thing though. The headphone jack on this thing, if you plug it into an interface and you go to record that way, you can actually get cab simulation. There's a cab simulator built into this. And I think if I remember correctly, it's emulating an orange 412 cabinet. And it sounds like this. So what do I think about the Orange Crush 12 all analog combo amp? 
I'm going to be honest with you guys, as I am in every video that I make for you, I did not have high hopes for this thing. Um, typically, like $100 amps just really aren't all that great. I have obviously demoed some in the past that were fantastic for what they were. This amp falls into that camp. It is a fantastic amp for anybody looking for something different, trying to break into that orange kind of territory, get that orange sound on the cheap. It's a really nice little amplifier. Is it the best thing in the world? Absolutely not. There are way better options that you can get if you spend more money, obviously. But in this price range, I think that this sits as a steady competitor in the one to 150 combo amp range, right? I mean, it's 12 watts of all analog power. You got a three band EQ. You don't have any kind of built in effects and no reverb or anything, but with the addition of the cab simulator from the headphone jack plugging straight in, you can record that way if you don't have a microphone. But as you heard, if you do mic it up, it's more than capable of handling a mic tone, right? You can get a good mic tone out of it. So all in all, for your $109, I think that this is a really, really nice amplifier. Uh, it's going to stick around with me. I'm probably going to use it on more recordings because it's it's really nice and I've, like I said I've always loved the orange sound I don't know why I've never really owned an orange amplifier before I've owned a micro dark and the little three watt as I mentioned before but that's really it so I may have to get a 212 cabinet on here at some point because I don't really do 412s I've had too many of those but anyway I digress there is the video on the orange crush 12 again if you like the video if you liked Everything that I had to offer to you guys, please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, all the good YouTube stuff. Remember, you can check links in the description. Go check this thing out on Amazon. Again, it's a non-affiliate link, so don't worry. I'm not making any money on that. I know people have a problem with that. I don't know why, but anyway, there's that. Uh, and then the link that does help me the most down there is if you go to my merch store, pick up a shirt, all that kind of stuff. Just check it all out. It's really, really cool. Again, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, all that kind of good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video.